Uh, don't you come down here. Oh, you better not come down here, damn it. The, the art gods are saying, hey, you, want, you wanted the game to be hard, so we're just accommodating you. <laughs> okay, guys. Playtime's over. We're going to do this sh for real now. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, basically what we're doing here is uh, we're starting over. Um, because I, uh, uh, it's it, the single player settings were just too easy, um, to the point where I wasn't, uh, getting the satisfaction, I guess is the best way to explain it, um, uh, of the early game struggle, uh, with those settings just being as easy as they were. So, um, some of you, a, a few of you might not like that. A few of you probably think that's awesome and probably the majority of you are cool with it either way. So anyway, that's just the way it's going to be. So we did five episodes on the, uh, super easy mode settings. And I just figured, you know what, before I get any further into this, I just want to start over and do this the way that I originally intended to do it in terms of, you know, the difficulty settings. And uh, so that's what we're doing now, as far as. Uh, the actual settings themselves, they're very similar. I'm, I'm talking about with the single player, you know, settings turned off. They're very similar uh, to before, uh, to the way they were before. And uh, again, I do reserve the right to to tweak some things and add some more mods later on to help speed up the process, particularly when we start breeding and stuff like that. Uh, but for the early game, you know, we're going to keep things uh you know fairly vanilla I, I still have the three mods i got the raft mod the spyglass mod and the seat belt mod but that's those are the only mods that i'm running um also i seem to have had the most success with just turning ray tracing and D D dlss completely off um in terms of crashes so uh, i'm not running it right now which kind of sucks because things don't look as nice as they normally would but we can't be playing a game that crashes. So hopefully, you know, as they continue to patch things, we might be able to re-enable some of those things later on. Uh, but uh, for now, we're going to keep it off unless I start crashing again, in which case then that's not really the issue and we'll turn it back on and continue to deal with the crashes until they fix things. Uh, the other thing that's different about uh, our start this time too is that I'm actually, I started on the East Coast this time um, just because I haven't really done a start on the east coast here on the island i've done just i've done west coast i've done south i've done even done north you know up in the lagoon area uh, as starts but uh, not really on the east coast so i figured well, you know what what the hell let's do this and we might even we might even go to herbivore island uh to start our first base because um, that would be a really good place to get a foothold because it's got you know metal and stuff like that um so yeah that is the plan and so here we go <laughs> We're starting over again. So I guess we just got a level. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll do the usual weight and health, a little bit of stamina to start with. Uh, I will um, I will probably do a little bit more heavy editing on this until we kind of get back, you know, more or less to where we were. Um, you know, just because some of this is going to be, you know, kind of repetitive and whatnot. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll just kind of play that one by ear. But I'll keep you with me, you know, at least for this first uh, episode as we as we start over here. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I actually, if we're going to go to Herbivore Island eventually, we're not going to be able to get there immediately. Uh, we need to kind of work our way south along the shore here. Uh, and this is supposed to be a medium danger uh, start. There's a pego right there. You know what? If we can get some mayo berries, we can just tame that pego right off the bat. They really aren't terrible um, tames for the, you know, very, very early game to have. Um, so, yeah, let's put this down here. We've got another point. Let's put that point into health. And we'll learn the spear. We're going to need all of this uh, armor stuff, so we'll just start learning that as well. Uh, let's go see if we can nab that pego. Come at me, bro. Okay, so did that, yeah, that partially tamed. See, now we're not on easy mode anymore, so we're not going to be getting these instant tames. 
Um, and that's the way it needs to be because it's just, again, like I said, just way too easy. Y yeah, okay. So I got some more mayo for you. You, yeah, you can, you can tame too. Grab the mayhos. What are you doing? How come you're not grabbing the mayhos? I don't know what he's doing. That's odd. Oh, okay, he got him. <laughs> Little bastard. Um, these guys do suck, but again, they're not the absolute worst thing you could tame in, in the very early start here. We just want to keep the mayhos on our belt. Uh, yeah, the the gathering is definitely a lot more painful now with those single-player settings turned off. And again, I might adjust some of that stuff, but it was just way too easy um, for, um, you know, with the single-player settings on. And, you know, I'm that's fine for some people, especially people that are new to ARC. Uh, more power to you, but I'm not new to ARC, and... Uh, what uh part of what i enjoy so much about that what the hell did he go out in the water for huh that's weird they're both in the water um part of what i enjoy about this game is is the challenge of it especially in the early game uh, but the game's challenging all the way through just in different ways as you start to progress uh why the hell did those guys go way the hell <laughs> out into the water I don't get that. That's really weird behavior. Um, I'll look. Well, we don't have anything to tame you yet. I should probably forget about the pegos and and start gearing up here before a raptor shows up and eats our face. So yeah, let's let's forget about those guys. We need to pick up some stones here. If we can find some loose ones. It's really hard to tell which ones are the loose ones and which ones are just kind of there you know okay so let's make ourselves a pick first and we got another level two so let's put that into let's put that into stamina i guess and we'll learn uh, let's get a storage box going and we'll just keep learning the cloth armor for the first few levels here okay so um oh we need flint and wood okay so yeah we are gonna have to do a little bit of tree punching or log punching as the case may be um no there we go okay i think i was i was looking at that for flint I'm gonna say how are we supposed to get flint if we don't have a pick i guess we still could punch a rock but i don't like that idea. sounds painful Okay, so now we'll use this to get ourselves an axe. Uh, get the materials, rather, for an axe. Yeah, we've lost uh, the taming on In fact, I'm surprised that Pego hasn't been eaten by those sharks. It is, again, really odd behavior for them to go off into the water like that, though. But who can know the mind of a Pego? Certainly not me. Uh, okay, let's go health and we get the boots and the hat. Put the axe down here. And then the next thing, of course, is spears. Let's go ahead and just uh, track that. And when, if we can, we might as well start making some clothing, too. Uh, we're going to need hide for those two pieces. Okay, so we'll put this on. That on. Uh, Wood. Okay, yeah, so let's go. Uh, let, again, let's just kind of keep working our way south here. What the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. The You know, all the sounds, <coughs> or many of the sounds, have changed, you know, with the with Ascended, so... It's... Is it a Pego? I don't know, I'm confused. Looked like there was a pego, a label for a pego, but I don't see it. Oh, it's a baby pego. Okay, he must have been abandoned by his parents. Okay, well, I guess that's one way to get a pego. <laughs> um, let's give you some berries then. 
How funny. Um, he's he's going to want an imprint in about two minutes, but you got to keep up, buddy. We're not uh, going to be too concerned about him if we end up losing him. But if he can, ha you know, stick or keep up with us and we can get him grown up, then we'll do it. Okay, so we can make three spears. And we'll put those in our number one slot for now. And let's go with some more weight. Okay, now we need flint. I'd, I'd like to have at least about, you know, half a dozen spears, six spears or so. Just because they break so damn easy, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hold down Alt and just tap the one key three times. And that allows us to craft three more of those items, which is a nice little feature. Next, we're going to craft a campfire. So we just need six more pieces of stone for that. Uh, here, let's track that. Well, we don't need to track the spears any longer. <laughs> there we go. And we got another level. So let's put that into... Let's keep pumping health for a little bit longer here. And the next thing I think we'll learn is the... Uh, the spyglass isn't going to do us any good for a bit here until we can get to crystal. Probably a sleeping bag. And then we can start learning... Um, let's... Yeah, let's learn a foundation and a bed. Because we're going to have to set up a really very temporary starter base enough for us to get to a raft. And then we'll take our chances uh, on a raft to get to Herbivore Island. And that's very risky for those of you who don't know because of the fact that um, uh, the lead Sithis, which is a, a big well creature, um, can can destroy it. So, yeah, we're going to be really careful. Okay, um, this is not doing us any good right now. Let's get rid of it because we're just a bit encumbered here. And um, we, yeah, we just have, we have too much wood. So let's drop that and let's split this in half and drop that. Let's split it in half again because it's just, like I said, way too much weight for us to be carrying around. Um, we're going to ditch all these berries. We might keep... Uh, um, these two for the moment in case I get uh, poisoned. I can use the stem berries to help with the torpidity. Right. Okay. So let's keep running here. Um, I'm going to do a game save too because I'm not convinced that turning off ray tracing is going to fix the crashing problem. Because, you know, I, I've gone for, you know, one, one, two hour sessions before a crash occurred. And it seems more common, not in every case. Oh, what am I doing? I don't want any more wood right now. Um, it seems more common to, uh, to happen when I access a menu or, you know, open up a storage crate or something. But again, that's not the not in every single case, but that does seem to be a, a common thing there. Okay, so there's Herbivore Island off in the distance there. And we're just going to have to be able to get over there. So what we'll do is we'll get, um, you know, pretty much all the way to the south eastern uh, corner of the map on the beach. And then we'll set up a very temporary base just enough to get the material. Oh, shit. Uh, the materials we need for a raft. Um, actually, you know what? We should try and kill him. I just don't know what level he is. He's going to be a lot harder to kill this time. No spitting loud. He's level 50. Okay. We'll use our hatchet so we can get some hide off of him. Um, if we can actually... Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, now we should be able to make uh, this, and we're going to need a little more fiber to make the shoes. And that'll get us armored up. So yeah, I hope you, I hope you guys, you know, for the most part are cool with, or at least don't mind that I'm starting over. But, you know, I this is potentially going to be a, a pretty long series, and I just want to do it right uh, so to speak, you know, in, in terms of what I feel is the right way to do it <laughs> uh, for me, uh, totally just for me. You know, again, I'm not suggesting anybody else play any certain way. You play the way that you have the most fun um, there. So there you go. All right. Well, this is probably as good of a place as any for us to set up our our uh, temporary beach base. And uh, we're not we're just going to make it out of thatch. Too. I'm not even going to mess with the wood here. Well, I mean... The, the advantage of doing wood is it helps us level really quickly. But we still, you know, can start with thatch, though. So let's get rid of that and let's uh, track this because we're going to need a foundation to put some of these things on, like the bed and all that. And hopefully, you know, we don't get uh, uh, like a raptor or something nasty coming through before we can kind of get set up here. That's really cool how the plants just kind of, you know, slowly uh, lose their foliage. All right, that parasaur is fighting something over there. I don't know what it is, but uh, do we, are those ichthys or, those are pelagornis. Okay, those, yeah, good. It uh, doesn't. There doesn't appear to be any ichthys in this immediate vicinity, which is a good thing. Those things suck. Um, okay, so let's make a couple foundations here. I, I think we'll do a two by two. Just a really small little shack here. And uh, let's put this down here. And we'll just set it up right here. Put it down a little lower. Okay, let's get materials for two more of those. And um, then I'm going to actually farm up the materials for the walls and all that too. So I'll, I'll bring you guys back uh, when that's all set up and we'll proceed from there. Oh boy. That's uh, not what we needed to have happen right now. Son of a bitch. Uh, can we get away from him? Here, let's take a drink before we die. Okay, so... <laughs> that's typical ARG for you. I don't even have my frickin' bedroll down yet. Um... Okay, so I don't know... I don't know where he went. Let's, uh... You know what we should try and do is maybe make a... Yeah, let's make one of these. So, let's track it. And we just need some... We're gonna need some more hide and fiber. And also, let's give ourselves some more weight here. And we're going to have to kill something. Something small for some more hide. Um, Parasaur might be a bit tough unless it's really, really low level. Let's just check his level. You are... Sounds like the Rex is over there. I can't even tell what your level is. Hold still for a second, would you please? It's level 10. Alright, we might be able to do this. Where you go? That, that Rex is just right over there. Hold still. Damn it. There we go. Okay. Let's grab those. Oh my god, that Rex is close. Alright, you know what? We gotta leave it. It'll actually distract the Rex from eating us, I think. Well, at least that's the theory. 
Whew. Okay, that was intense. Hopefully he stays over there. We're back out this way, right? I think. I need to get something to eat here too pretty quick. Okay, guys. Um, so basically what happened was after I ran away from that Rex is I got a phone call that I had to take. And then when I came back from the phone call, I uh, thought I had to push the record button, but I didn't. So long story short, the Rex ate <laughs> my thatch hut that I had set up, uh, but I was able to get away from him. And so I decided to kind of move back up the shore and kind of into this little uh, cliff area to be a little more secluded and not just right out in the open there. I did hear the Rex up on top of the cliff once, but I haven't heard him since. So hopefully, um, hopefully he'll leave us alone long enough for us to get our raft built and get over to Erebor Island. Uh, okay, so I am now level 14, and uh, I just learned the Ingram for the bow and arrow and the bola and a couple other things like that. So, uh, And I also learned the Ingram for wood foundation. Uh, I am going to go ahead and convert this to wood only for the sole purpose of, you know, making those wood pieces is going to help me level quickly. Uh, we need to get to level 16. Uh, let's see if we look here. Uh, we need to get to level 16 in order to uh, make the raft. And we're going to make the um, the modded raft, a uh, better raft or whatever it is that I have installed there. Okay, so I'll work on that. And when we're uh, when I get to the point where I have the raft actually made and uh, ready to set out, I'll bring you guys back at that point. I have a bed down here too, as you can see. Well, our buddy's on the cliff right above our base. <laughs> uh, don't you come down here. Oh, you better not come down here, damn it. Yeah, stay up there, go away. Go chase something else. For Pete's sake. I wonder what level that guy is. Not that it matters, even if he was a level 5, he'd still wreck our face at the moment. But we might uh, come back and take revenge on him at some point for giving us such a so much trouble. Uh, uh, <laughs> seriously, come on, Ark. The the Ark gods are saying, "Hey, you want you wanted the game to be hard, so we're just accommodating you." <laughs> oh, jeez, that's funny. Okay, let's see if we can get over here and get the foundations replaced. I need one more level to get to the rafts. Uh, turn, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got that done. Um, oh, I guess we got three points. Yeah, you, you level so fast in the early game doing wood. Okay, so we are good to go for the raft then. So let's, um, let's just put all of these points into weight because we're going to need that early on and then if we go here we should be able to learn the better raft does that require us to learn oh it doesn't require us to learn that as a prerequisite but it does require more points that's interesting uh, let's also learn the, the large storage bookshelf um, we're gonna want A, yeah, let's do a ramp. Just trying to decide what's the priority at the moment, you know. Um, okay, so yeah, we need to get to 20 to get to the workbench and the metal tools and all that, but uh, that won't take long at all. In fact, by making the raft itself, um, that will probably give us everything we need. So let's get that off of there. Uh, we're going to... Put the raft Ingram down here and track it. And let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's grab. We're going to need hide. Uh, or I'm sorry, get fiber, hide, and wood. So let me gather up the wood. Shit. Let me get the wood gathered up, 
first, and then uh, we're going to have to go do some hunting to get all of the hide. All right, guys, so the Rex is down here now. That dirty rat. I'm really tempted to just have him chase me up the shore. Oh, well, okay, there we go. I was going to say, have him chase me and just lead him up the beach here. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. Yikes. Um, let's lead him even further away. Okay, he's angry. The next question, though, is, am I going to... Oh, shit. <laughs> am I going to be able to <laughs> get back around him? Uh, swimming out in the water is a risky business. Okay, so he lost his interest in us. So yeah, now the now the trick is getting getting around him. Of course, if he's preoccupied with whatever is causing him to go in circles like that, we might be able to run around him and get away. Okay, I think we I think we ditched him. Okay, that was a little nerve-wracking, uh, but we managed to survive it, so that's the important thing. What, uh, trilobites? Do they give hide? I don't know. Um, I don't think they give hide. They give chitin and pearls and oil and other good stuff. And I don't remember what tool is the best to harvest with is a hatchet we can actually hit the damn thing i don't think it's there i think it's yeah there it is right there okay we got 60 chitin from using a hatchet uh where did the other one go he probably yeah he went off into the water I don't even... Uh, he really took off. I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's way over there. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. It's kind of hard to... I mean, I can remember uh, that I got 60 chitin, but I don't remember what level it was. So you have to compare on creatures of approximately the same level to really know. But the next time I do that, I'll, try, I'll use the pick and just see if it, I can kind of maybe tell. All right, guys, so, yeah, let me get all the stuff gathered up here to make our raft, and then uh, I'll bring you back when we're ready to set sail. Damn it. Stupid bird. I should quit wasting arrows on him. Um, anyway, I'm going to do something that's pretty damn cruel, but it's about survival. Um, this moss chops is a level 20, but it wants prime fish meat. Um, and it's got a little baby. So we're going to send mother to heaven and take baby for ourselves. Very cruel, I know, but you got to do what you got to do. And yes, I know the Ichthy is attacking us too, but we kind of deserve it, don't we? Oh, you're not dead yet? You're not dead yet. Come on. Man, I hate these spears. Good lord, will you please die? 
Okay. Come here, little fella. I'm sorry. But it was necessary. Now we need to get away from this frickin' ichthy. I wonder if it would attack the babies. You better not have stole my, stolen my hide. Because that's what we're out trying to gather. Oh, you're you're mad at me. Look at you. I thought you guys were all cowards. I think this one's just a level 5, but it also wanted prime fish meat, which is like, how in the hell am I supposed to get that right now? He's... He's kind of attacking a little bit here. Alright, got him. Yeah, he, he put the hurt on us. Let's get all the hide off of him. And eat some food to, to get some health back. Okay. So we got all the hide that we need for the raft and then some. Uh, why don't we give ourselves some more health? You're going to take five million years, aren't you? You want Karen two hours. Oh, I forgot to give it some food. Oh, I blame it on the ichthy. It completely had me distracted. Oh, that's terrible. We're just absolutely a terrible human being for doing that. But whatever. Okay. Um. Well, it's all right. It, it would have taken that thing a million years to get back to us anyways, and it was only a level 20. And with the, you know, now that we're not on super-powered single-player mode, it's uh, it wouldn't have really been that good of a tame anyways. Main thing is, is that we got the hide now to make the raft. So here's the thing. Um, I have set down over here a sleeping bag. So that way... If something goes wrong before we get to the island, we have the sleeping bag to, to get back here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the bed up because it's kind of expensive to make and take it with us. And I also want to uh, make a... Let's whoops. Uh, let's make a thatch foundation. So as soon as we <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as we get to the island, we can throw the foundation down and put the bed on it immediately. Uh, so we just need a little bit of fiber and thatch. I've got uh, a lot of that already stored up for the raft, but I don't want to use what we have for the raft. So let's just grab it real quick this way. There we go. Okay, so we'll have the foundation to throw the bed down onto. All right, very good. So, let's grab all of the stuff that we need to make the rafts. We're gonna need all this fiber. Um, I'm gonna actually put the berries in here. We're going to need... Okay, so we got the hide, we got the fiber, and we're going to need 250 wood. There we go. Okay. Let's make this in... In the past, when you made a raft in the early game, you got a bunch of XP for it, so let's see what happens here. Hopefully, at least it, it at least gets us to 20 so that we can make the smithy and the metal tools and all that. Whoa, a little graphic glitch there. Yeah, I got us three levels. Okay, that's good. So let's just get health up to 200. And let's give us another point in stamina. I'll probably get stamina to 150 for now. And then we'll go back to weight. And we need to start thinking about fortitude pretty soon as well. Uh, okay, so let's go here. And uh, we're actually 20, level 25. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's, that's good. All right. Forge, smithy, metal tools, trank arrows for sure. Uh, preserving men, 
and uh, we're going to need an intake. We'll want gunpowder and hide eventually. We've got 31 points. Yeah, you know what? I'll worry about that stuff later. Let's let's just get going here. So we'll put the raft down here. And is there anything else I want to take with me? Uh, let's take the narco berries. But the rest of this stuff we don't. I don't think we really need. And yeah, maybe we'll take the mayo berries too, and the fiber. Okay. So the name of the game here is launch the raft. And then do a little bit of scouting before we cross the channel. Uh, scouting as in for lead sickness, because that's the thing that could ruin our day. And uh, hopefully we can get over there without incident. You know, it occurred to me too, another way I could do this is I could tame a low-level Pelagornis, because they are around here, and then just fly over there. So if the, if the raft solution does not work then that's then we'll do that because I, I i should be able to just you know make a club bowl a, a low level pelagornis knock it out and feed it some fish um and that would that would work too there's that same stupid icky that was messing with us before hopefully nothing bad comes around because i'm encumbered at the moment Drink a little bit of water while we're here, too. There's another. Yeah, let's just, let's forget about the tr trilobite. I, want, I don't want that guy robbing my stuff. Okay. The raft has been placed. Before we, before we take off, I want to see if I can spot a leads. It is so nice that we can see under the water now like this. All right, I don't see a leads from here. Let's go see if we can check that, uh, check out on the other side here. Where's that ichthy at? It's right there. actually stand up right here. How about that? Okay, let's look. Look at that shark stuck in the ground there. That's funny. Yeah, I don't I don't see one. Um if he if there was one closer to the island, he could be out of render range. But I think we're let's give it a try. And like I said, if, if this fails, then our plan B would be to tame a Pelagornis to get over there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's right. This thing goes fast. Yeah, because this is the modded draft. It's a little... A little OP actually, but <laughs> I got it more for backing up and for being able to build more stuff on it. Okay, we're on the island. Whew. Very first order of business here is just to set a bed down so that way if we die, we can spawn back on the island.
Okay, there we go. We got a spawn point. All right, guys. Well, um, I I will call this uh, a redo first redo episode a success. Uh, we managed to not get killed, even though we were harassed by a T Rex for a little bit there. And so, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, off camera here. I'm going to just I'm going to kind of you know survey the island, and decide where we're going to set up our first base, and um, probably start gathering up resources for that and then when we're ready to actually set the base up we'll start episode two so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode goodbye